Hello. Welcome to Quarantine Adventures with Mary Grace. <laughs> Unfortunately, yes, I do not have COVID as of right now that I am aware of, I'm aware of. I have to wait until Monday to get tested. So that's why these videos are up. And that is, this is yeah, this is for Brie and Abby's senior project. And that is why these are on video. This is going to be the intro to every video. This one, these wonder, this is ugh, so much fun. All right. Thank you for watching. And if you enjoy, please subscribe, like the video and all that jazz. Okay, thank you. <laughs> All right, so this is going to be for Othello and Iago. This one is going to be a very interesting makeup look. It's very easy though, very simple. All that you need is a red lipstick. And if you have a makeup brush, I'm going to show you how that could be a little bit easier. But um, yeah, that's really it. And then just some translucent powder. That way it can make the makeup stick, not uh, run all over your face. And also... Um, eyebrow pencil and just some brown powder this is bronzer but yeah let's get it started i'm trying out this new microphone hopefully it behaves itself oh i feel so pretty like i look like an egg i am an egg first thing we're gonna do i'm gonna take our red lipstick and we're just gonna go my finger just to like pat it out it doesn't need to be clean this is messy and he is the villain after all we want it to be the most intense go closer to the eye and kind of pat it out and like I, what I believe that they were going for is like this is just like his actual look. This is him. A little bit more. All right, with this one, he also had a tear going down his eye. If you think it doesn't look right, you're probably wrong. And it's probably actually looking right. <laughs> Try to get it as close to your eye as possible, but don't get it in your eye, please. <laughs> kind of feeling like Dobby from My Hero Academia. Only a little bit, though. Ha 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 ha. I'm gonna go back with the lipstick. And make it look really, like, intense where the tear is, or the scars, or whatever this was supposed to be. Alright, take your finger, blend everything out. I'm gonna go with a pretty dark brown, but not like a super dark brown, medium dark, I would go for. And just make my eyebrows intense and dark. Just like putting powder in it. I'm not trying to like create a different shape or anything. I'm not trying to do anything crazy. I'm just making them a whole lot darker than usual. All right, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just take my finger, I'm gonna just dust it all over my lid. And if it touches the lipstick, you gotta pat it around it. I 
feel even. All right, I'm just gonna do a last minute like touch-ups, just add a little bit more red around like right around the eye, like right here, just like keeping it the darker, like it fades right here, but keeping it darker right here. Don't I look wild? I think it's wild. Now I'm just gonna take translucent powder, dip my brush in it, and I'm just gonna go like this very lightly. I'm gonna pat it very lightly. The reason why we do this is we want to make sure that it's going to last and it's not gonna move. It's not gonna be sticky. It won't crease. Just trying to make sure that everything stays. Okay. I think that's the end of the video. Honestly, it's very simple, very easy. It's not hard to do, but it's very intense looking. I said that this had to happen, but I'm very excited about this and I hope you have fun. Okay, I gotta go. <laughs>